Okay, Lady Ada, it looks like we're coming up with another show called uh, Tiny USB Tuesday. That's right. It's so, Tuesday, and it's time for some Tiny yeah. USB. So I have a Chrome browser, and I have USB. And it, I heard that it would be possible one day to do Web USB, where your web browser is interacting with something that you plug into your computer, like a Feather M4, and then you get Web USB. So what what's Web USB, and why is this why is this something that I heard it's a rumor? I, I'm glad you asked. Well, mm -hmm. actually, we we do in a sense support Web USB already because the UF2 bootloader actually can be used with, um, to, you can upload code to the UF2 bootloader that we have on our boards using okay. web USB and make code arcade if you, uh, sorry, make code arcade and adafruit.makecode.com uh, if you're using it with the beta um, version, I believe, it will automatically synchronize over web USB and you can like upload code directly from the browser. That's cool. So we, we do have some web USB support already in, again, that bootloader that's done by the MakeCode team. But uh, it would also be really neat if we had web USB, say, in Arduino or uh, it's in like Python. Python. Or, yeah. And web USB is kind of what it sounds like. USB normally, when you plug it in, um, access to USB hardware devices is only permitted uh, for desktop applications. So every desktop application pretty much has permission to access USB devices, but web browsers are kept separate. They don't, yeah. they don't get access to it until recently. In the last couple versions of Chrome, about a year ago, um, yep. a team, uh, in a Chrome team, uh, I think headed up by a person named Riley, um, has added web support to interface with USB devices. Now you have to give it permission, of course, okay. obviously. Uh, but then a JavaScript p page can be loaded from a host, and then um, it can communicate with hardware devices, uh, any hardware device, really, that has the right kind of descriptors. And in this case, um, we want to show off how Teeny USB has now added support for WebUSB. It now has the right descriptors right. so that uh, Mac, Windows, and Linux for Windows you can't use it with Windows 7, but Windows 10 works best due to yeah. some changes that occurred in, in descriptors. And you should use this on Windows, and I said, okay, let's try this on my Mac, and then let's film this, because this is the first time yeah. anyone's ever done this. So we're, we're Premiere. This is the demo. So what we have here okay. is a Feather M4. It'll, it'll work with uh, the yeah. NRF52840 as well, or the SAMD21, right. but this okay. is my favorite Feather, I'm so on, I'm on not? a web page. And um, it's what? running the demo, and you can see the LED is blinking. That means it's waiting to be connected to. Okay. So this, the teenyusb.org has an example, and this is a JavaScript web page um, that, again, is living over on uh, the teenyusb.org site, okay. and it has web USB JavaScript. So click Connect. Now you have to, again, authorize and okay. pair a device. So this, the browser will check and say, hey, I'm connected. You know, I want to connect, so and I'm now you can hi. note the LED is now lit up red. Hi. Oh, so neat. as you type into the sender, it's actually echoing keys through uh, USB and uh, back out. So it's okay. not, this is actually going through the hardware device. It's an hi, echo. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, but what if I, I have a terminal open up here. What if I wanted to like prove this is really working right. for the well actually guy? Well, another thing is um, historically the web USB code that's out there, I don't believe it also works with CDC you are serial, like you only can use web USB, nothing else. Right. What's cool about Teeny USB is you can use web USB with UART serial, with mass storage, with HID keyboard and mouse. Like you can mix and match any USB devices to make your own custom composite device. So this is okay. a composite device that has UART as well as web USB. So why don't you open up screen yeah. and connect to the CDC serial. Oh, you know what? I think we have to. Uh, what are we gotta do? I think we have to reset because. What are we gotta do? I'm gonna hit reset because we did this demo and I think it do was. Do you want me to uh, disconnect here? Yeah, try disconnecting, and then try running screen. I didn't think I think we didn't quit screen quite right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so now connect on the uh, web browser because you were disconnected. When you do live demo, you can't do it twice in a row. Okay. Uh, so now try typing, and you'll see the text that you're typing in the green Minicom screen box shows up in the receiver. Yeah. And if you type in the sender box, it'll echo out into the UART terminal. So this is echoing both in web USB and also through the UART. So you're having, it's a big USB salad here. All right. Yeah, very exciting. 
Okay, so this is world first, and we even showed like what happened, well, how you have to connect and disconnect. We don't. Well, this is the first time we've ever showed this. I think we forgot to quit screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, that's okay. But we got it going. So um, this is pretty cool because this means that you can have um, websites that can, once you authorize it, connect to your hardware, you can interact with the hardware. We did some web MIDI examples. Yeah. Uh, so that worked out quite well. We did that with uh, over the. Christmas break when we had the Neo Trellis and we did some web USB projects, but now we have web USB as well. Okay, cool. So more All right. web and hardware connectivity. And uh, TeenUSB, again, is an open source USB stack that is available for the SAMD processors. Yeah. It's available for People the are adding Nordic this to boards. NRFD2. And we think it'll also be supported in the upcoming ESP S2. So ESP32 processors yeah. will be able to use it. Um, FPGAs, ICE 40s, uh, LPCs, all sorts of chips are adding teeny USB support. It's an open license core, and look at all the cool peripherals you get to use. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to upload this video, and then I'm going to. We had talked to Arduino. I think it's going to be coming up on like a couple of years soon. Where we're like, hey, like tiny USB would be really good for Arduino because you're going to you get all of this, and there's a lot more ahead. So here it is. So yes. I'm going to post this and send out some emails and anyone can grab this. It's in GitHub, tiny USB, check it out. Check it out. All right, good work, Thatch. Teeny USB Tuesday. Yeah, okay.